when it grows, this is how it looks like. So these are the flowers of this plant. Um, it's red, and uh, it uh, some uh, there are two other varieties that I know. The one with the uh, pinkish flowers and yellow ones. Like, share, and subscribe. Yes, hello friends and investors. Welcome back to my channel. This is Amon Ray, and for today's episode for Plant Guide will be propagating a caballero or a pickup flower. So I know um, some are not really familiar with this flower, but it's actually grown in the Philippines. It's a favorite of ornamental plant as well. So for Filipinos, they have long known the caballero or bulaklak na paraiso for its medical purposes and for being one of the most graceful and colorful flowers. Being a widely cultivated ornamental plant, it thrives well in sunny Philippines and brings a variety of bright and vibrant colors even to the most urban landscapes. Its brightly colored flowers usually bloom during summer and is commonly found in gardens as well as vacant lots. Yahoo News and Manila Building online feature this wonderful flower in a recent art. Scientifically known as Cisalpinia um, pulcherima, the flower is a species of flowering plant from the pea family. Fabaceae, which is native to the tropics and subtropics of the Americas. Common names of these species include Conchana, Pika Flower, Red Bird, or Paradise, Mexican Bird of Paradise, Dwarf Poinciana, Pride of Barbados, and Flamboyant de Jardin. It belongs to the plant family Leguminosae and is native to the West Indies. The Pika Flower is a shrub growing to 3 meters tall. The leaves are bipinnate, 20 to 40 centimeters long, bearing 3 to 10 pairs of pinnae, each with 6 to 10 pairs of leaflets, 15 to 25 mm long, and 10 to 15 mm broad. The flowers are born in racemes up to 20 centimeters long, each flower with 5 yellow, orange, or red petals. The fruit is a pod 6 to 12 centimeters long. So, what's interesting about this uh, plant is its medical purposes. So, if you have this grown in your yard or in your house, in your back backyard, at least uh, you should also know its medical purposes. The pika is also noted for its medicinal uses. Its leaves have anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antiviral, and purgative properties. Medicine men in the Amazon rainforest call it the ayu. The food is used as an astringent and is used to treat diarrhea and dysentery. So at least uh, if you're going herbal, you can uh, make use of this plant. The peacock flower is the most widely cultivated species in the genus Cisalpinia. It is a striking ornamental plant, widely grown in domestic and public gardens, and has a beautiful inflorescence in yellow, red, and orange. Its small size and the fact that it tolerates pruning while allow it to be planted in groups to form a hedgerow can be also used to attract hummingbirds. That's interesting. The shrub stem and branches have scattered spines. The plant certainly could be a colorful addition to the garden or lawn, especially if you want to have a low maintenance and a floriferous small tree. This plant is fast growing, easily propagated by seeds, and is not too sensitive to So now that we know already about the description of this plant, let's go now and start our propagation. Like, share, and subscribe. Yes, hello friends and investors, welcome back to my channel and uh, this is our propagation area in the house. So for today's video, we'll be teaching you how to propagate this uh, cavalier plant. So this is the when it grows. This is how it looks like. So these are the flowers of this plant. Um, it's red, and uh, it uh, some uh, there are two other varieties that I know. The one with the uh, pinkish flowers and yellow ones. So this is the fruit. So it's still green because it's, uh, uh, it's a new one and if uh, it, it dies, it becomes of course the dark brown color and these are the leaves. So it still grows to um, more or less 3 meters so it's about one story house. It's uh, tall enough so you can, if you want to put some, some something like a tree-like plant in your, uh, in your lawn, uh, this is uh, a perfect choice and it's, uh, it's, it's really beautiful when it grows and it bears a lot of flowers. So now we'll do the propagation by using its seeds. So we've got here, but this variety is the one with the uh, yellow, yellow flowers. We actually have the pink one as well, but uh, for the purpose of this video, we will be using this one. So this is a 
this is uh, the color of the uh, yeah the fruit when it uh, dies already. So got plenty here, but um, for now we'll be uh, having maybe five of these for the propagation uh, video. So first of all is uh, of course we have to break these uh, roots to get the seeds. You may want to use a knife if it's uh, difficult for you to open this fruit. So as you know, uh, elongated like about uh, two to three inches long the fruit, and uh, about uh, five to six centimeters. Let's try to break this. So this is now the seed inside. And uh, what you do is you have you just have to separate the, uh, the seeds. So in in every fruit, there's like yeah more or less five seeds. Sometimes you will find um, some seeds that already has some new growth inside inside the fruit. And it's easier. That's that's easier uh, easier to, to propagate because it's already um, having some growth inside. That's easier if you use a knife to break the fruit into half. To, this one has uh, eight. This 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 one has eight uh, eight seeds inside. This one. So uh, there's one that fell on the floor. So let's remove the seeds. And um, this plant is uh, also very tolerant to direct sun. So basically, you can just put it outside the house, and you don't have to worry about it uh, surviving because uh, it's uh, it's endemic to the tropical areas as well. Fruit has yeah, has eight as well. It's eight seeds. Actually, if you have a like a plant business, it's good to have this as well because it's easy to grow and easy to maintain. And for landscapers, I think they love to have this. Uh, Plant since it's uh, it's it's really a good uh, addition to the uh, uh, surroundings of your house. So you have another one. Uh, yeah, it still has eight seeds. And then let's have the last one. There's a, at the end of this, uh, the, the, the other end of this uh, fruit, uh, there's a tendency that it opens first, so it's, you, can, you can break it from there. And ta -da! So now we've got all the seeds here. I think we had more or less 40 seeds. So hopefully we have. Um, yes, I hope that success rate is uh, higher. So these are the seeds of these uh, caballero plants. So now um, I got some soil and uh, uh, a container to where we can put the seeds for the propagation. So for the purposes of this video, so we tried we tried to recycle these uh, plastic egg trays. So 
uh, this you can help the environment as well, not to throw plastics out, uh, anywhere. Because it's uh, you know polluting our environment. So why don't you just use it for your propagation in the house? And this one also. And and this. So I was able to put uh, soil already here. And let's add more soil to the three other. Plastic uh, egg trays. For a while. So this is our uh, soil mix. This is uh, made of loam soil with uh, sawdust. So we mixed it. Um, I did not put holes or, uh, anymore on the trays since uh, when when we see the new growth, we will have to transfer it to another, uh, to maybe a pot, a small pot. Right. So it's it's ready for its uh, its uh, growth. So for this uh, for this one, we're just propagating the seed and um, uh, making sure that we, we get the successful ones, the ones that really grows. Then um, let's get some water and uh, ensure that um, yeah this is uh, wet enough so the the, seed, uh, the plant will survive. We have one. This is the watering part. So now let's uh, put the seeds on top of the uh, uh, this uh, container with soil, the tray, the egg tray with soil. <laughs> Basically, you just have to put it on top of it, and you know, for 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 every. Every uh, section of the egg tray, you put one seed, and it's better this way so that you can actually uh, track the growth of the seeds day by day. I think uh, for this one, we will be uh, two, four, six, eight, and so there are twelve uh, sections in it. It's one thousand, right? To section each egg tray, and at least it's easier for you to track how many seeds were successful, because of course there are casualties when you try to to do propagation, right? There are several factors: weather conditions, watering, and um, yeah. Let's make sure that. So we were able to put them on top of this one. So it's better to put it in a container like an egg tray when you're propagating the seeds. Because uh, unlike if you put it in a the garden, there's a possibility that it will be, it'll be uh, flooded. So the seeds will have to go somewhere in the garden. And it's uh, more difficult for you to track the progress of your uh, propagation of the seeds. So um, yeah, so basically more or less two weeks, two weeks uh, from planting, uh, some seeds will begin to show some growth and sprouts. And I'll show you one because uh, we had some successful um, propagation like two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. So this is going to be the new, the, the new growth. This is the one. Yeah. See that? So it looks actually it looks like the apple apple leaves. When I actually um this is a 
this is a new uh, addition to our plant collection in the house. And I was actually, when I tried to search for its name online, I just checked uh, like a uh, ipil ipil like uh, plant with uh, yeah with red flowers or pink flowers or yellow flowers because those are the three colors that I know that it, it, that uh, uh, it, it has in its varieties. So I don't know if there are other colors, but when I try to check, uh, yes, it's uh, online. It's orange, red, and yellow. But uh, we had a pinkish one. I'm not sure if that is the orange one, but it really is a, a pinkish uh, flower. So yeah, let's uh, wait for uh, two more weeks, hopefully, for these uh, new seeds to finally grow. And yeah, so at least for now, we have two new growths already. And uh, this one will be uh, putting somewhere in the house where uh, can enjoy uh, direct sunlight and um, yes it improves the feel of your surroundings to have this kind of uh, tree so I hope you learned something from this video and I'll be doing more propagation videos please make sure that you subscribe on our channel Cebu World Homes so since now we are uh, staying home most of the time because of this pandemic uh, we've got to learn a lot of uh, planting methods and uh, ways to uh, to improve the feel of our house aside from you know uh, it's uh, some plants have air purifying uh, benefits they also have some medicinal medical benefits like this uh, cavaliero plant uh, which is uh, giving a lot of medical uh, benefits especially to the people from a long time ago it's uh, traced back in history so once again this is Amore and thank you for checking my video on my channel bye for now for inquiries please email me at amonforrealestate at gmail.com Please also subscribe to my YouTube channel Cebu Bohol Homes and visit my webpage at www.amonforrealestate.blogspot.com